Getting ready to buy or sell a home? Do you want to help support pro-life organizations? Then you need Real Estate for Life. Get a top-notch real estate agent and support pro-life causes. Go to realestateforlife.org to learn more. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, today the Holy Liturgy celebrates Saint Eusebius, Bishop and Martyr, Bishop of Vercelli in Italy. We are in the fourth century. He, was, he had to suffer a lot because of the Aryans and was exiled to Egypt and Palestine. Uh, he is considered a martyr because of the sufferings and numerous persecutions he had to undergo at the hands of the heretics, the Aryans. He died in 371. Today is also another important day because we begin the novena in preparation for Christmas. And I would like to reflect briefly with you on the importance of this novena, a pre spiritual preparation for Christmas, and uh, I would suggest that we choose during these uh, nine days of preparation for Christmas a model of preparation, a saint who can help us uh, see the mystery of the Nativity of our Lord and uh, incorporate that mystery in our own life. And this saint is Saint Joseph, Joseph of Nazareth. We can uh, have Saint Joseph as the very icon of this preparation. First of all, let me uh, wish that each one of you has uh, a beautiful crib already uh, prepared in your houses to contemplate the mystery of Christmas. It, was, it would be very good, wonderful, if you could at some point of the day to gather before the crib with your family and say some prayer to the baby Jesus, to the Holy Family in preparation for this uh, Christmas. There is a novena composed by St. Alphonsus Liguori, a prayer for these uh, nine days, which is wonderful. And uh, it is a prayer that helps you see the, the reality of the birth of our, of our Lord, the birth of a baby who is God, who came in that poverty for us. Uh, not to, not to uh, scare us with his majesty and divinity, but just trying to draw our hearts to his heart in that condition of abasement and poverty. I hope that you have this uh, holy crib, which is a great sign of uh, Christmas. Unfortunately, Nowadays, people tend to have only a Christmas tree, which has unfortunately become only a secular sign. Even people don't believe in, in Christ, they are happy to have a Christmas tree in their houses with lights shining. But uh, the tree is also Christian, of course, as long as it is a sign identifying the mystery of Christ, the true, uh, the true uh, Lord, and the tree as the tree of life. And for us, the tree of life is the cross of our Lord. But in order to have that sign, the tree, as a Christian sign, it is always good to have with it in your houses the crib of our Lord, the manger where our Lord was born. Today we ask St. Joseph to take us by hand and to guide us to Bethlehem to contemplate 
the mystery of Jesus' nativity. We can reflect today on this first day on St. Joseph's being, uh, or St. Joseph's inner quality of his heart, which is highlighted by the gospel, which should also uh, reflect our own inner quality to be ready for Christmas. That is his justice. Joseph is a just man. The gospel says Joseph was just. And this in, in the context of the pregnancy of his wife, during which he suspended his judgment, waiting for God to intervene, to tell him what to do, because he never doubted of the holiness of his wife, but at the same time, he was not the father of the child. What to do? The Gospel says, since Joseph was just, he decided in his heart to uh, leave her privately, to disappear. From these very few lines about Joseph's inner justice, we understand what justice properly is. Justice in the Bible is synonymous of holiness. Joseph is a holy man. And holiness is the quality of God. Holiness uh, literally means to be detached from earthly things, not to be material, not to fall into materiality of life. God is eminently uh, holy because he's not composed by any matter. He's pure spirit. And holiness is this capacity to be always detached from the materiality of life. Joseph is detached because he's poor as a virtue. He exercises that poverty. He embraced willingly that poverty for God to be detached from everything. But his holiness consists more in being one with God, one heart with God. This is his detachment from earthly things. He wishes to be one with God. And his justice was that virtue leading him to discovering day after day God's will and to stick to it, to be happy to accomplish that will in his life. St. Joseph was praying, of course he was, for the incarnation of the Messiah. He knew perfectly the prophecies about the Messiah to come, and he, he was hoping that he could, uh, in his unworthiness, see the mystery of God. He was conversing in his heart with God in being united with him and uh, begging the supreme majesty of God to deign to uh, come amongst us and uh, to send forth the Messiah promised by the prophets. And he was happy that by reading the scriptures, by being imbued with the Holy Spirit, that the Messiah, the, the one, the anointed one sent by God could live amongst us and could deign himself to be with the people, with Joseph, with Mary, with the people of that holy nation at the thought of being a possible uh, person who could see that mystery, Joseph was inflamed even more by this desire, a banging God to send forth his Messiah. In his humility, he wasn't uh, hoping to be himself uh, the father, the one treasuring keeping that mystery of God on earth. But this is the justice of Joseph. His justice was fulfilled by 
the response of God. God sent forth his son and entrusted his son to this special father on earth, Joseph of Nazareth. This justice of Joseph, this opening of our hearts to God, to wait for him and to hope for his coming, to be uh, with him, this is the characteristic of, should be the characteristic of our life at his Christmas, at his novena starting today. We pray to Saint Joseph and Saint Eusebius today for this uh, virtue, the virtue of justice, that is the holiness necessary to live for God, to hope for his coming, to be ready for his presence amongst us. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.